Division, Snag Proof Open, California Delta. Weather was really weird, two day tournament, and these guys put the wax to them. Over 23 pounds. I got to team up. Rick Mabotney, Josh Paris. Rick and Josh did a great job. They were uh, doing well yesterday, and they just did, backed it up again. I don't know if they lost enough fish to where they're going to sit there and shake their head on the way home. However, great job. How'd you catch your fish, Rick? Uh, with frogs. Nice, nice. What color frogs? I, I caught them on the pump. Uh, so I figured we'll post them. Now, I talked to you about a month ago. You were going to fish these frog service, and you never fished a frog. You were going to learn how to fish a frog. A, a month ago, I came out with Josh, and I couldn't walk a frog. And uh, we've got something that's pretty awesome. <laughs> and you, you called me up and you said, I actually caught a frog fish today. Yeah, it was pretty dope. And now, here you are in second place of a 205 boat field. I caught a couple of frog fish this weekend. Nice. Did he catch a couple? Yeah, he did. How'd you catch him? Uh, Bobby perfect frog, pretty much Freds, and I caught one today on Black Yelp, but everything is pretty much Freds. So, when you're throwing that frog, and a lot of guys were throwing frogs today, and they were saying a lot of fish were volleyballing it, you know, just popping up in the air. What did you guys do to stop that? Uh, we couldn't do anything, honestly. Most of our fish weren't really volleyballing it. They were just completely missing the frog or grabbing the legs, pulling it down. Um, all the fish, I think everyone we put in the well was barely hooked in the corner of the jaw. Um, and it was a matter of just running enough water and getting enough gloves to get those couple that would actually get the frog and hook up and get to the boat. What kind of water were you looking for? Uh, we, we looked for protected water. Uh, you know, as always, we know these tournaments are going to be windy, and uh, so we really targeted protected water. Some of it panned out. We pretty much, I mean, we had a stretch of probably 20 yards where all of our fish that we weighed in came from. And is there anybody you want to thank in this event? I want to thank all my sponsors, BG of course, and uh, my family at home, Rick, and uh, yeah. You know, Rick, I, I've seen some of your custom painting. You do a great job on your custom painting. Are, are you colorblind? I am completely colorblind, yeah. <laughs> you know, why is it the artists are colorblind? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's okay. You know, that's why we wear glasses. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't see color at all. Yeah, hey, honey, what color is that? That's how it goes. I have my wife and my daughters. So who do you want to thank? You know, I wanted to thank Josh. I mean, I had an absolute blast at all our free fish and, and the tournament. We took his boat and his equipment and had a great time. Uh, you know, I, my Dobbins rods were fantastic. So I, I got to thank them too. Well, you know, great job. I got to give you guys full the handshake. Outstanding, especially because I heard that you finally cut your first frog fish a month ago. Now you actually took some money home and some wood. And it's always nice to bring home the wood. Give a round of applause, guys, if you would, please.